Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over how to create a soccer pitch with MPL Soccer. So I've already made a video tutorial on this, but MPL Soccer did update their package and kind of how the pitches are created. So this will help understand kind of how to create a pitch better and you can use this new syntax if you upgrade and have the latest version of MPL soccer. You can actually create a pitch in two ways. If you check out my previous video, I show you how to do it two ways. You can do it either by manually creating it, by plotting line by line, or you can do it the super simple and the super easy way of using the MPL soccer package. I personally use the MPL soccer package. I'm pretty sure 99% of people on any anywhere use the MPL soccer package. So it's a great package, it's a great tool to use to be able to create these pitches. What we're gonna do is you need to make sure that you have MPL Soccer installed already. So if you don't, make sure that you go into your terminal or command line, if you just type in pip install MPL Soccer, just like this, it will install it for you. And if you do already have it and you just need to upgrade it to the most recent version, then make sure that you're doing that. I have a video that you can check out right here on going and upgrading a package in Python. So the first thing that we need to do is we actually just need to import the package. So we'll say from MPL soccer, import pitch like this with a capital P. And then something that's different now is that if you want to have a vertical pitch, so if you want it to be going up and down instead of left to right, you need to import something called the vertical pitch. So this has a capital V and a capital P, just like that, run it, and it will give you the number if you're in Jupyter Notebook like I am. And then to create the pitch, it's actually super simple. You just need to create the object. So we'll say pitch equals pitch. And then how you plot it is when you're calling in your figure in your axes, so like this, you say fig comma ax, you set it equal to pitch dot draw, just like that and you now have your pitch. So this right here, what's going on is this is creating an object of this class pitch. That's what you're importing. So you just create an object with a lowercase p and you set that equal to pitch. Honestly, you can name this whatever if you wanna say, uh, I don't know, field or something. I don't know what else you would call it, but pitch is a good word. And then down here, you're just saying pitch.draw. This is the command, basically the function that's going to draw the field for you, draw the pitch for you. So it's kind of the same thing with a vertical pitch as well. If you wanna create a vertical pitch, you just say pitch equals vertical pitch, just like that with brackets. And then you just do the same thing, fig comma ax equals pitch dot draw. Run that and you now have a vertical pitch. So it's pretty simple. Obviously, I'll get into kind of some of the other things that you can do. But the cool thing about MPL Soccer as well is that you can actually plot like a grid of pitches. So this you see a lot when people do any sort of dashboards or they do any sort of charts that they need more than just one pitch to draw on. Say you're doing a pass map of every player in the match that just happened, you're going to need to have more than just one pitch to be able to do that. So MPL Soccer actually makes it really easy to create these grids. So to do this, you just need to create your pitch again. So you say pitch equals pitch like this. And then when you're going to plot it, you need to say fig comma axs equals pitch dot, instead of dot draw, we're now gonna say dot grid. And then you pass in the arguments of n rows, so how many rows you want. So n rows equals, say we want a three rows, and then n calls, say we want two columns. And you can plot that, and it does that for you. So he has actually built in an axis above and below everything. To, so that you can add in your own, say you wanted to add in like a title up here, and then you wanted to add in a footer. So you got your header and footer. You can plot things individually up there. So you're not having to go and add your own axes and kind of do your own thing. He does it conveniently for you. This is, you can edit that. Just make sure that you're um, reading the documentation on how to do that. I will link the documentation down below. 
So you can check out MPL Soccer and you kind of check out uh, all the different customization that you can do with these pitches. So the last thing is if you want to create just a half pitch, you actually do it when you're creating the pitch object. So you say pitch equals pitch. And then inside the parentheses, you just say half equals true. And then you plot it just like normally you say fig comma ax equals pitch dot draw with parentheses. And you now have a half pitch. So it's all pretty similar in how it works. The only difference is that you are first creating the pitch. And then when you create your figure and your axes, you are calling the draw function there and that will set up your figure, your axis, and you can uh, go on from there. So that's kind of the whole basics into doing it as well. You can add different provider types. You can do a lot of customization within here. Just make sure you read the documentation and shout out to Andy as well for creating this. Make sure you go follow him on Twitter and be able to support MPL soccer as much as you can. This is a great package that he's been able to create along with a lot of other people that have helped contributed and have been able to create this for all of us to be able to go and do visualizations, um, start building out models and things like that. So that is it for this video. I'm looking forward to see what a lot of people create on Twitter and blogs and medium and whatnot. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.